It's the final push for supporters and opponents of the quarter cent sales tax increase referendum. County Towns Commissioner Susan Hardin with the Partnership for a Better Mecklenburg says an extra penny on a four dollar purchase goes a long way. Well, I think a little a little bit will do a whole lot of good. So um, this is going to really have a big impact on our cultural sector, on our parks, and for our teachers. The four group has a war chest, raising about $830,000 in the last campaign finance period, including 550 grant from the Foundation for the Carolinas and 50000 each from the Panthers, Duke Energy, and Wells Fargo. That has allowed them to get their message on TV, radio, and in the mail. The group will also have campaign literature and volunteers at every precinct on Election Day. Well, that money allows us to get our message out. With the very unfavorable ballot language, we have to tell people what their money is going to go for. On the against side, former County Commissioner Matthew Reidenauer is leading the charge. He says Mecklenburg has more pressing needs than what this tax increase will go to. The community has said time and again that priorities in our community are things like affordable housing, transportation, infrastructure, and things like that. And so this tax doesn't go to address those issues. He says this is almost yeah. like a David versus Goliath situation. His group raised less than $1,500, most of it from himself. Despite that, he's confident, saying they have grassroots support that the other side does not. My favorite founding father was Samuel Adams, and my favorite quote from him is that it does not take a majority to prevail, but rather a small, tireless minority intent on lighting brush fires of freedom in the minds of men and women, of course. County commissioners say if this sales tax increase is approved, 45% of the funds will go to the Arts and Science Council, 34% to parks, 16% to education, and the remaining 5% to art in Mecklenburg suburbs. Now, a future county board can change that allocation per state law. This is also the final quarter cent sales tax increase that Mecklenburg has available. Back to you, Erica. All right, a lot to unpack there. Thank you, Joe, for the update. Early voting is ending at 7 o'clock tonight, and again, Election Day is next Tuesday, November the 5th.